Lawrence. Hey, I'm 1220 KHTS, hometownstation.com. I have with me, I am super excited because I had the opportunity to interview this young man earlier today with George Cummings on the Friday matinee, Juno Wilson. Okay, first I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him talk to you, but then we're going to listen to him sing. I'm going to have him sing a little later here live in the studio, but I'm going to play one of his pieces. This young man, is it, it says singing sensation, and I have to tell you, it is not at all a stretch of the truth. He is fabulous. He sings in the tradition of Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Bing, Bing Crosby. He's also Santa Clarita homegrown. Hello, Juno. <laughs> How's it going? So you, you grew up here. Here in the valley. Yeah, since 94. And in your bones, you have this old soul. And I would like to know, I'm going to play one of my favorite songs, and you do it so beautifully. Why did you pick this particular song? I don't know. Somehow it has a special connection to me, because it's it's one of the first original songs I heard of him when I was little, like 10 years old. I love that. And, um, when when I was 10, yeah. they were actually, they were launching like rockets into the sky and going <laughs> to the moon, so it actually meant something. Yeah. I love that this, that you connected to the song, Come Fly yeah. With Me. So, uh, you started singing when you were about 10, you said this? I actually started singing like a few years ago um, when I got into college. Um, I didn't really know that I could actually sing at all before that. All right, so. so you heard it right here. He said he could. He didn't know he could do this at all. Let's take a listen, shall we? AM twelve twenty KHTS. AM twelve twenty KHTS. Hometownstation.com. Juno Wilson. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, let's fly. Of 20 KHTS hometownstation.com. That was Juno Wilson, and we're going to hear a little more from him right after traffic. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Hometown station traffic every 10 minutes, and you've been busy since I was last on the microphone. If you're traveling on the 5 14, right at the 514 connector, there was a report of a fire coming from the brush area of the right shoulder. Crews have been dispatched. They should be knocking that down, but I will stay on top of that and bring you all the information that they provide me. If you're traveling on the 5 South at Hasley Canyon Road, according to the California Highway Patrol, there is metal debris in unknown lanes. So I don't know where it is. I don't even know exactly what it is, but you need to be careful if you are in that area. Again, that's 5 South at Hasley Canyon Road. This time of day, speeds are pretty high through there, so you'd better watch it. If you're traveling on the 210, this is just east of Hubbard Street, there is an or a lone orange cone in the number two lane. Be careful. That usually indicates that there's a hazard, and now it is a hazard. If you see things I need to know about, call me at 298-KHTS, 298-5487. 
Test drive the stylish 2014 Acura MDX today. Luxury, highly recommended. Visit your Southern California Acura dealer or learn more at SoCalAcuraDealers.com. I have one of the grooviest cats in the world here in the studio with me right now. A young man by the name of... He's laughing at me now. He's chuckling. You're, this is radio, so you can't see that unless you watch the podcast later, but he is chuckling. Juno Wilson is a 22-year-old singing sensation. He sings like a dream. Dean Martin, Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, these were some of the voices he heard growing up when he was young, starting when, you know, he remembers like really strong memories when he was about 10. He's a Santa Clarita homegrown boy. He attended Golden Valley High School. He's now a music major at Cal Poly Pomona. Tell me a little bit about your experience at Cal Poly. You're singing with a band there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm with the uh, jazz band there. Um, it's going to be my fifth year now with them. So so you found out a couple, a few years ago now, mm -hmm. that you could do this. Yeah. Did you approach them, or how did it come to pass that you had the opportunity to sing with the jazz band? Well, actually, it started with the combo. Um, one night during combo practice, I sang in front of the instructor, and um, I guess he was really impressed. So... Um, I asked if I could be on the jazz band. He said, "Yeah, that's fine." You know, and um, yeah, I want you to look me in the eye. He, he you guess he was really impressed. Y you know, he <laughs> was impressed. You yeah. really are an amazing talent, and I love the idea that you're very humble about yeah. what you do. You are, you're a fabulous singer. So I, I think it is no surprise, certainly to anyone who hears you, that the instructor went, "Oh yeah, out front. Here's a microphone. Off you go." And tell me about the first time you said, because I got to hear the story mm -hmm. earlier, and if, if you're just tuning in and you didn't get a chance to hear this, this is a great story. You were driving in the car. Yeah. You'd been hearing this music your whole life, mm -hmm. and you opened your mouth. Yeah, I mean, like, I just I just always sang, like, in my, by myself in the car, you know, and um, one day I, I realized that, you know, maybe people don't usually sing like this, and so I decided to try it out. Um, First time I sang in front of anyone was um, like a karaoke party with at you know at a workplace. Um, I sang the song New York, New York, and um, I got a really good reaction from the crowd. So describe for me how many people were there. Uh, there is only like ten people. Um, so and the response here they knew you from work. You're that you're you're kind of you're kind of quiet. You've got a very you know quiet way about you. You're working. You're you're the guy at the desk. You're doing your thing. Nobody knows you do this. And now you get up at an office event at a karaoke party. Yeah. And what was I, you said it was well received. But what was the reaction? Were mouths dropped? Were what 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 did people say? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Just how you're describing it, actually, it was, <laughs> they were really surprised. Like, you know, some other guy said that he was a really good singer, and then I sang, and then people were the. Oh, know, I'm so happy he went first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there was you. Yeah. And then nobody else wanted to get up, did they? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think a few people like, did. What? Yeah. Well, that's because they were, you know, they were drinking. Yeah. They were like, oh, yeah, I can do that, too. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. How wonderful. So then what led to the next step of the possibility of doing this as a, a profession? Well, a, actually. Um, over whatever you were doing at that job. What did you do at that job? You mean the job as well? Yeah, where you got know. up and sang karaoke. What were oh, you doing? That was at um, Cutco. It was like a knife selling. Like, okay, so, <laughs> so you went from selling knives and you thought, oh, all right, well, maybe I can do this singing yeah. thing. What happened next? Um, well, I, I'm usually going to school. Um, that job was just like, lasted like a month. It wasn't really a real job, but. Um, <laughs> it's a sales job. I yeah. know what that is. I've, I've had you guys come to my house. I love my cut yeah. knives, by the way. Small really commercial good. for them. Yeah. So you're being a salesman, and again, you're very quiet. You're yeah. kind of subdued. You have a nature about you that's very gentle. And now it's like, all right, I'm going to make this into a life. What was mm -hmm. the next step you took? Well, I changed my major from engineering to music. Oh, thank um, goodness. It was... Um, it was a big decision, but I had to make it, you know. And um, were mom and dad behind it? My dad was. My mom initially wasn't, but she is now. So y it's no, oh, yay, mom! I could hug you, yay! Yeah. This was a very good decision, mom. All right, Juno, we're gonna take a break. We have to keep the lights on. We have to keep the microphones humming. So stay with me. We're gonna talk to this young man and hear a little more of his music before we're done. When somebody loves you. It's no good unless he loves you all the way. Someone to cheer you and 
man who's happy to be near you all the way. Who knows where the road will lead us, only a fool would say. But if you let me love you, it's for sure I'm gonna love you all the way, all the way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that for us, Juno. I no appreciate that. Now, I always, I, I'm a singer too, and I know sometimes that when you go someplace, people say, oh, you sing? Sing for me. And mm. I used to say when I was young, really, if I were a lumberjack, would you ask me to cut down a tree? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Do you find that it's nerve-wracking when someone asks you to sing live? Or do you th have you kind of gotten used to it where, yeah, okay, or do you still sort of feel like, uh, well, truly? Uh, actually, at first, I was kind of nervous about it, but after a while, you like, you know, I just, I have a, because I have a list of what I can sing to people. Like, nice. You know, so I can just think of that list and then I can just sing it. So that gives me kind of confidence about it. I love that. Um, yeah. All right. Stay with me in a little bit. I'm going to talk to Juno again a little bit about his career, what's coming up, where we're going. So I'm going to do a little business with spots and then we'll bring you traffic. Mm -hmm. AM 1220 KHTS hometownstation.com in the studio with me right now. I have a young man who is Santa Clarita homegrown, Juno Wilson. 22 years old, sings in the tradition of Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Bing Crosby. Attended Golden Valley High School. He's now a music major at Cal Poly Pomona. Juno, you just told me during uh, our last segment that mm. you were actually not a music major. Uh, yeah, I was not when I first went into college. You were going to be? Uh, mechanical engineer. And so. why were you going to be a mechanical engineer? What was driving that bus? Well, I always had a love for, um, you know, math and science and all that. Um, and I wanted to get into car design. And that's, Ooh, that was like the main thing. Um, car design? Yeah. And so now, not only do you dig really great music, you're a car guy? Yeah, This definitely. just keeps getting better. <laughs> do you like old cars, too, on top of that? Yeah, actually, um, like, my favorite car is, like, a 68 Mustang GT. LV you're just a dreamboat. You're fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you open your mouth. This is super. Now, you've been taking music lessons since you were very young. So yeah. even though the singing came about a few years ago, mm -hmm. tell me the instruments you play. Well, I, when I was living in... Um, Sydney, Australia in 1999. Um, I started piano when I was seven and I've always been playing ever since. Um, started alto saxophone uh, fifth grade and I've always been playing that. Um, started in the jazz band seventh grade so I've always, that's how I've always had the um, exposure to that kind of big band music that I sing. And now who was it in your household that was the person who listened to this type of music? Uh, well my parents uh, both listened to that kind of music. Um, and I really got into it because um, I had my own CD player and CDs, so I always um, just listened to it by myself. And um, I guess that's how I got stuck in my brain, and um, here I am now singing it. So. so do you have siblings? I do. I have one sister. She's uh, two years younger. Um, she goes up to um, Cal State uh, San Francisco. Now, so. is she into the same music, or is she like the, the black sheep of the family, or the, I guess the normal sheep of the family? <laughs> You're kind of the black sheep. Well, um, she, she appreciates it. Appreciates she, it, yeah. She does. Um, does she play instruments? She does. She actually has her own little group, like an indie group. Are, so we, are we at some point going to see a collaboration between brother and sister? Is that um, a possibility? I mean, could be possible in the future. I don't, haven't really thought about it, but... All right, you heard yeah. it here first, <laughs> that little pressure to put on the little sister to yeah. do something with her brother. Now, mom and dad, are they musical? Yeah, um... My mom doesn't really play any instruments, and my dad doesn't really either. Um, but my dad's always been working in the, um, the music industry, um, and they, they really um, appreciate music a lot. So while not an artist, dad's an aficionado. He likes, yeah. he likes what he likes. So now I had asked you earlier today if it wasn't your parents who mm -hmm. had this musical gene, did it skip a generation? Um, could be, because my dad, um, his dad, was really a big musician back in his day. I mean, he played a lot. Like that was like his living. I think. So um, it so it was yeah. grandpa. We have grandpa, grandpa yeah. to blame. And there's a, there were um, I think his mom too. Grandpa sure. on your dad's side. Yeah. Because mom was dad was like totally supportive, and at first mm -hmm. mom was like well, I don't know, and you know, it being a musician, it's it is sort of it, it's a sketchy 
future. You don't really know what it, yeah. from one week to the next, you know, depending mm -hmm. on what way the wind blows, you could or could not have a, a livelihood. Yeah. But I love the idea that you might also be that secret car you know, a designer who's going to come mm -hmm. up with the next, just so you know, I personally like the Chevy, the old truck with the big rounded wheels. If you could make oh, one really? of those, I'd be <laughs> super happy with you. Right. Let's listen to another one of Juno's songs. We're going to listen to In the Wee Small Hours of the Evening. Small hours of the evening, no morning. The wee small hours of the morning, while the whole wide world is fast asleep. You lie awake and think about the girl and never. KHTSHometownStation.com Juno Wilson in the wee small hours of the morning, not evening like my screen says. Juno is a 22-year-old singing sensation who sings an awful lot like Bing Crosby, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. He's got that flavoring. He is Santa Clarita homegrown, attended Golden Valley High School, now a music major at Kyle Poly Pomona, and he's released three songs, two of which we've now heard here. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about him when I come back, but we're going to do a bit of business and I'll do traffic as soon as I can. In the studio with me right now, I have young singing sensation Juno Wilson, 22 years old. I know every time I say the word sensation, you you kind of you kind of <laughs> smile and I see your head bob and wave. You really are a super talent and I'm super happy that you're here with us today. Now, tell me and tell tell the the, the person whose ear you just sung in so beautifully where they can get a hold of this music to put it on their iPod or on their smartphone if they want to listen to you all the time like I would like to where do they get your music well you can look on um, iTunes Amazon just type in Juno Wilson and um, go, you can go to junowilson.com and there's a link to the CD baby um, website there and my music can also be found on YouTube um, just type in my name Juno Wilson J-U-N-O 
and um, I have a Facebook page as well. You have to so. go over and like his Facebook page. I just put you on my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page, T with T, and Juno Wilson. Let's grow his numbers. Can we do that today? I would really love if we, as collectively, as as our hometown uh, station here, if we could do that for him. He's got uh, he's got some likes on there now. Let's see if we can't build that page for him. So again, go to Facebook and look for Juno Wilson. And when you do this, you're going to notice this which was surprising to me. There are some other Juno Wilsons. Just look for the one that says, you go to J-U-N-O Wilson, okay? W-I-L-S-O-N. And if you go down to pages, you'll see Juno Wilson, musician, band. Let's grow those numbers before the afternoon is over. Juno, thank you for being here with me today. This has been truly a treat. I think you're super talented, and I'm looking forward to watching your star rise as you take this musical journey because I think you're just fabulous. Thank you. So thanks for being here. And uh, one last thing. Yeah. Um, my dad wanted me to tell um, the radio stuff about this. Um, he, he has like a, a music education um, nonprofit. It's called um, musicmoves.org. And um, he's trying to promote um, education in music. Okay, so, cool, so musicmoves.org. Mm-hmm. I think it's music um, dash or hyphen moves. All right. Well, we will have to look that up. Do you want to? Do you want to? I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you want to sing the Santa Clarita Hometown Station jingle? <laughs> do, will you sing just KHTS for me okay, in I any don't. style you like? KHTS AM 1220. Thank you so very much.